Hey, thank you for joining me today for the Fireside Chat with MJ. Um, today's topic, we're going to talk about self-care. And I'm going to approach it from a different standpoint today. Not just the actual task involved with performing self-care, but actually diving into the mental health aspect of self-care. Um, so with that, we're going to talk about setting boundaries. Um, we're going to talk about the emotional well-being part of self-care. And if, again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, I've received a few questions from some people it, um, on my Facebook page as well. So um, I'm going to take some time and answer those too. But um, how many of you are actually practicing some type of self-care right now? Just, just, you know, raise your hand shoot me a message in the chat that's awesome that's awesome and how many of you have ever thought about trying self-care but you just say I don't have time I can't fit it into my schedule I have so many other obligations already I don't want to add anything else to my plate okay I see you I see you well today I'm going to debunk that Everybody has five minutes to give to themselves. So we're gonna start small um, with baby steps and then work our way up. Um, I did, just a little bit about me. I started um, practicing self-care actually while I was at work. <laughs> um, because I did, I, I started really early and I got off really late. So the majority of my day was actually spent at work. So what I would do is, um, the little 30 minutes that I actually had to uh, eat, <laughs> I would, I'd close my door, I'd turn off my lights, and I just start started um, meditating. And um, the meditation that I used was, uh, at the time it was 15 minutes. And so I did, I, I just completely shut down. And that was, I, I'm telling you, <laughs> that was the best 15 minutes of my day because I did I and actually after I got finished I was able to complete the rest of my day with more energy it was just it was kind of like I was just totally rejuvenated so I do I encourage you start small work your way up and when I and when I first started also I I couldn't sit still long enough to you know just take it all in so it, it does it it takes some practice but I, I guarantee you, once, once you get it down and get into your groove and what works for you, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, um, with that, I'm going to go into uh, one of the pieces that I wanted to discuss was talking about setting boundaries. Um, I know a lot of people have issues with that um, because they do have other obligations, whether it's your family, whether it's your career, um, you know, whatever the case may be for you. But even with that, you still have to prioritize yourself. There's nothing more important than you. And if you're not here, all those other obligations mean nothing anyway. So you have to start with yourself. Take, take time for yourself, whether, you know, you just, no matter what you do during that time, just take time for yourself. Um, as I was sharing, meditation, that, that's a piece of self-care that you can actually practice. But actually getting to the part where you want to meditate for yourself, that's the boundary setting. Put five minutes on your schedule a day for you to just do nothing. It's okay to not do anything and take that time for you. Um, a, a lot of employers and jobs and just society wants people to think that you always have to constantly be in motion and be on the go and doing something. It's okay not to do anything. And, you know, the more people realize that and understand that, they would cause themselves a lot less stress because stress will kill you. Um, more and more women are having heart attacks that are stress related because we do, we try to take on everything. We wanna help everybody. And we're usually the last ones on that list that we are willing to help. 
but ladies I do I encourage you to start making yourself a priority um, it, it's it's important for you and you know if you do have children it's important for your children to see you taking time for yourself um, because as, as they grow and become adults they'll they'll know well hey well mommy used to take time and you know just decompress and you know mommy was actually happier after she did that so you know it's something that you can mirror for your kids and teach them that you know taking themselves making themselves a priority is important um, also with that our physical body you know a lot of people talk about exercise and you know I don't have time to exercise I don't have I don't want to pay money for a gym membership I don't you know you have all the reasons that you don't want to do it but that physical piece is just as important as that emotional piece um, we have to take care of our bodies we only get one and a lot of people want to take care of their bodies after something happens well prevention is key you you don't want to have to recover from something that you could have prevented in the first place you don't want to need medication for something that you could have prevented in the first place um, you know popping those pills all medication have side effects so if you can get to the point where you don't need any medication at all that that's truly the goal and by doing that um, you do you have to make some lifestyle changes and you can make them gradually you don't have to stop everything all at once and you know a lot of people don't want they, they'll say well I don't want people telling me what to do and I don't well you know what if you want to live then you might want to listen to some of these people that are trying to encourage you to do the right thing um, it's change is inevitable change is a form of growth and if you keep yourself in those limited beliefs of just going through the motion keeping everything the same not wanting to change not wanting to improve your life or saying things like well I'm gonna die anyway so I'm gonna do what I want to do well you know what hopefully you don't want to die sooner than you need to because there is, there's so much life out there and so much, you know, for you that you could possibly be doing if you just change your mindset. So you do, you know, taking those, cha making those changes in the way you think will affect every other aspect of your life. Change is a good thing. Change allows you the opportunity to be creative and think and do things that you may not have ever thought of or wanted to do before. Um... I remember when I was younger, I used to always want to travel because, um, like, my dad would always take us places in the car. So we were, you know, driving all over the country and things like that. But um, I wanted to get on an airplane and I wanted to see where those airplanes were going. And, you know, you see, I remember watching the love boat when I was a little girl <laughs> and I was like, I'm going on a cruise, you know, because I'm going on the love boat so I can go on a cruise and, you know, see all these beautiful places. And um, once I became an adult and were allotted those opportunities, it's like, man, I'm, I'm glad I had that vision as a child so I could make it come to pass when I was capable as an adult. So, you know, don't, don't dream small. Dream big because anything is possible. Once you get your mindset right and, and understand that we have the ability to make our lives good we have the ability to make our lives just you know standard or you know we can make our lives extraordinary and I do I like the word extraordinary that just that just sounds good it's like how's your life oh my life is extraordinary you know it, <laughs> and it can be it really can be and what's extraordinary for you and what's extraordinary for me could possibly be two different things but it doesn't matter it's what makes you happy and makes you content and gives you joy and brings you peace that is important um, if we run our own race instead of trying to run someone else's race it makes things a lot easier you can only be the best you that you can be 
You can't be somebody else. Why? Because you're not somebody else. So don't worry about being somebody else. Just worry about being you and doing you. Because you can do you great. Why? Because it's you. <laughs> There's no right and wrong or doing in doing you. <laughs> See? And so, you know, like I say, just society puts these things into the atmosphere that, you know, you need to do this, you need to be that, you need to look like this, you need to have that. You have and do what you think is important for you. That's, that's truly all that matters. Um, everything else, yeah, you can see things, you know, and be like, oh, okay, you know, I never thought of that or, you know, whatever. But run your own race. You don't have to compare yourself to others. You know, as long as you're content and happy with what's going on with you, that's all that matters. Um, and journaling is another piece of self-care. You know, a lot of times um, people have a lot of emotions and things that are built up inside and they're not necessarily sure how to get it out. Well, journal about it. Um, journaling can be great. It's a great way for you to release emotions. You don't have to worry about being judged because you're talking to yourself, basically. But you're able to get it out. Um, again, therapy. Therapy is awesome. And, you know, I know it can be difficult, you know, finding a good therapist. And, you know, at least now there's more opportunities, whether it's online, you know, um, or whatever. So... You know, if you need help, get help. It's okay to need help and get help. But just do something. Make you the best you that you can be. Be loving to yourself. Live in your truth. Your truth. Um, and, and you define that in what's helpful and beneficial for you. No one else can define that for you. But I do. I just wanted to put this little piece on self-care out there because it's important. It's important for people to take care of themselves. Um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And, you know, with April almost being over, I did. I just wanted to put that out there because I did. I saw some things in the news and they're, they're disturbing. And, you know, I don't know what those people's situations were at the time where they went out and, you know, cre created those acts or, you know, performed those acts. But... Like I say, I can do my piece. I'm, I'm trying to put information out there. I hope you guys share the information. And I hope the information helps you like it did for me. So with that, this is your girl MJ signing out for now. You have a good one.